In February, the Design and Technological Bureau Sovelmash acquired a more complete look. The builders mounted most of thermal insulation, external wall casing and sandwich panels. At the end of the month, they started mounting windows, window ledges and drip caps. Also, the builders poured with concrete the last fragment of the floor slab panel on the second floor of the production building. They finished pouring stairs and lift shafts. They started pouring steps of stairs with concrete, after which only the floor of the ground floor will be left to pour. Besides, the builders mounted the first sandwich panels of interim partitions on the second floor of the production building. They performed anti-fire treatment for the most part of metal constructions. They erected a firewall between the production and the administrative buildings. They they started closing areas where the roof joins the walls. They started mounting roofing on the one-floor appendix buildings. In February, management of the Special Economic Zone Technopolis Moscow visited the construction site where the engineering center is being built. They looked at how construction is progressing and talked to several much representatives. The guests were pleased to learn that the main engineering equipment for the Design and Technological Bureau had already been bought and delivered on the site. Jill Weber, Solus Group national partner in France and several African countries, as well as his assistant Barbara Sagakina, visited Russia. The guests, together with Solar Group management, visited the construction site. They looked at how the construction of the Design and Technological Bureau is progressing. They also shared their impressions with participants of the project in Africa. Besides, the guests visited the workshop of the steam company in the town of Obninsk. There, they could test transport with Slavanka technology. Just a reminder, the company modernizes transport by installing motors with combined windings. The national partner also held a webinar in French for international participants of the project from the Savalmash studio. He also took part in Solar Group's webinar as an invited guest. Thanks to Jill Weber and Barbara Sakakina's visit to Russia, participants of the project from France and French-speaking African countries could see how the enterprise they are investing in is being constructed. They could ask top management of the project their questions and receive answers in their mother tongue. Technological Development Agency spoke about Slavanka on their website. Information on the technology of combined winding Slavanka was published on the website of the Technological Development Agency. This organization was created by the government of Russia with a view to uniting high technologies and business. The agency publishes information for companies that need cutting-edge innovations at production sites. Placing information on Slavanka on this informational resource shows that this technology has been recognized at the level of Russia's government. It is also conducive to spreading information about it in business circles, as well as potential clients and partners of software. Much. Technical works in the back office have been completed. Solar Group specialists have completed the main technical works in the back office and have restored all the functions. That was needed to increase the security level of users' registers and the databases of the website, prepare the platform for connecting new services, increase the website speed of operation, and improve the interface. In other words, the back office has become more reliable, more comfortable to use, and it now runs on the basis of the most advanced IT technologies. While performing technical works, our specialists, among other things, were improving the verification service. That is why a queue of requests built up. We have now resumed receiving and treating your requests. Russian investors received support from Solar Group. An unstable exchange value of ruble has made it more difficult for Russian participants of the project to invest. To support them and to ensure stable financing of the project, Solar Group has fixed the exchange rate at 79 rubles per one dollar until the 3rd of March inclusive. The team is analyzing the current geopolitical situation and doing its best for success of the project.